Happy Monday, my friends. Um, this is my new equipment. I've got a webcam up here, as you can see, instead of the phone down there, and also a professional microphone. I want to try this out and give you guys a little bit better quality. Um, so another trinket from the back shelf uh, is this book. It's called Knock Off, Deadly Trade in Counterfeit Goods by Tim Phillips. Uh, Tim interviewed me about 15 years ago, and he wrote this book. Chapter 8 is all about me, an entire chapter about Rob Holmes. I'm so proud of this. It's a really good book, and it's still incredibly relevant, probably the best book on counterfeiting still to this day. Let's get to the book. 637 Best Things Anybody Ever Said. Number 184. Much as he is pro, uh, opposed to lawbreaking, he is not bigoted about it. Damon Runyon. James Thurber once said, You might as well fall flat on your face as lean over too far backward. 185. 186 by Will Cuppy. Will Cuppy. Will Cuppy. Alexander III of Macedonia is known as Alexander the Great because he killed more people of more different kinds than any other man of his time. Will Cuppy says another thing. 187. Aristotle was famous for knowing everything. He taught that the brain exists merely to cool the blood and is not involved in the process of thinking. This is true only of certain persons. 188. Geologist Wilson Hinckley. All Gaul is divided into three parts. Igneous, metamorphic, and sedimentary. All Gaul. Hmm. 189. What a time. What a civilization. Cicero. 43 B.C. 190. Oh, this age, how tasteless and ill-bred it is. Catullus, 870 or so B.C. 191. Ovid, this is another B.C., um, estimated B.C. How little you know about the age you live in if you think that honey is sweeter than cash in hand. 192. Publius Cyrus, circa 42 BC. It is sometimes expedient to forget who you are. Always lie to the police. No, he didn't say that, but that's kind of what he's saying there. <laughs> there is no glory in outstripping donkeys. Marshall, 40 AD. The school of hard knocks is an accelerated curriculum. This is uh, 194, Meander, 342 B.C. or so. Another Cicero quote. There's nothing so absurd, but some philosopher has said it. There is nothing so absurd, but some philosopher has said it. 196, we're leaving you with this one. Uh, because this is the only one that's actually said in my lifetime. Henry Miller, 1891 to 1980. A man with his belly full of the classics is an enemy of the human race. These were really clunky ones. Like, really clunky. I'm not really enjoying these. But uh, we got some more that are George Bernard Shaw and Bertrand Russell, Oscar Wilde. We're going to read those tomorrow. Um, I'm going to show you here the St. Louis Starbucks mug. The St. Louis mug was purchased at the same time, the same trip as my Kansas City mug, which I believe I showed you guys Friday, both in Missouri. Anyway, um, I just wanted to tell you guys that I hope all of your quarantine is going well. I'm um, living my life here and hanging out with wifey and the boys, going for my walks in Venice Beach. If you check out my, uh, my Facebook, you'll probably see a picture or two here or there. But otherwise, just, uh, just enjoy yourselves, and um, I'll catch you tomorrow. Promise. Later.